Well, I was born in Littleton. I'm a fifth generation to grow up in Littleton. Littleton in the 60s was vibrant. It was a busy port, very busy. You knew everyone. You grew up in a small town. I went on to secondary school at Sacred Heart College. We caught the train to school, the rail train. No uh, buses through the tunnel in those days. We walked to school from the Christchurch railway station. The college was in the grounds of the Basilica, beautiful Basilica in Barbados Street. Before the tunnel, we used to drive over the hill. Growing up in Littleton, going to Christchurch was quite a big excursion. We went over the hill to Sumner, through into Christchurch, and we'd often go to the gardens. My sister and I would be dressed in um, our frilly nylon dresses. The earthquake, well, it happened very quickly, but as a, it's something, you know, I'll never forget. I just knew I had to get out of that building. The noise was horrific, and I still don't know how I managed to get out that front door, but as I ran across to the other side of the road, the building was down. It was collapsing as I ran. You know, it's something I'll never forget. It happened so quickly and I knew that no one else got out behind me. Losing 16 good friends and colleagues, you know, you never forget that. That's something, you know, I'll take to the grave with me. Well, CTV, we moved, we started back up soon after the earthquake, which was amazing how we all got up and running, but I think because we were kept so busy, we all supported each other and got on with it and we were up and running within a few months. You have to get on and make the most of life because that's what they'll all want. I love Christchurch, always have loved Christchurch and I love the beautiful gardens and the beautiful old buildings we had, I miss those. But look, the city's coming on, it's vibrant, lots of bars and restaurants opening and there's always lots to do here. So when did you last visit Christchurch? <laughs>